While fashion might tell us what to wear, style is an expression of ourself. This is Man From Self Style Stories. One guy, three looks. Hi guys, so how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a brand new series and the first in this series. This is Style Stories, essentially taking a look at other guys from the internet world and looking at their sense of style and kind of for you to maybe take some inspiration from it. Now, first up, we have Sanj. Thank you. Welcome, or Thank Sanjeev you. to give you your full title. Thanks, man. Sanj Thank is a, a pretty big deal in the old <laughs> YouTube space. Seriously, I will link all of your all of your bits down below. Um, but you also do creative other things on the side, yeah. Instagram, you've, you've got it all going on. Yeah, so uh, primarily men's fashion mm -hmm. content creator on YouTube, and then I do a lot of creative consulting, be it for brands and their buys, or for people needing personal styling. And I wanted you on here because when I think of personal style, I quite often think of you. Oh, and um, you. we said when you arrived here, it's like my style is fairly classic, some might think fairly boring, and I've kind of got my own vibe, but whenever I look at your Instagram, mm -hmm. I always think like, I love that, I'd like to wear that, I couldn't wear that. <laughs> so I was like, let's get you in and kind of go through three of your looks. Amazing, let's do it. So talk to me about this. Okay, so this is a very easy, casual look. This is what I would wear to just throw on and just go about my day. When, when I think of dressing every day anyway, <laughs> I normally start with my trousers. And to me, black trousers or black jeans are the easiest to style. These beautiful black cargo trousers are from a friend's brand called Who Is Jacob. Okay. Uh, they've got a ton of pockets. Uh, There's 13 to be precise, I think. Then on top, we've got a graphic tee and then this shirt, which I made out of five, no, sorry, four different vintage flannels. You so, made this? Yeah. Where, where does someone start by making, <laughs> by making their own shirt? Um, so this was heavily inspired by a brand that does these shirts anyway. It's called Needles okay. and what they do is just literally take apart old shirts and then combine them. Uh, comes at a beautiful price point of 300 odd quid. So I was like, I'm going to go to my local vintage store, do it myself for like 25. I and, love that. And this is, this is the final result. And then um, trainers. We've got my Nike CDG Dunks. Mm. Uh, they've got really nice see-through casing around them, which makes for interesting styling. So then you can just chuck on different socks. Um, in this occasion, I just wore it with white socks, but you can spice it up and have green, red, yellow, pink. Again, easy throw on. Yeah. Now my hair is in a bit of a growth stage. Okay. So I cover it up. We've all been there. <laughs> when I can, currently with the beanie, but yeah, this part of bucket hat. Yeah. I like that you say this is an easy throw on, but give it here. Yeah, Look, it's an easy throw on for you. <laughs> but if I was to put this on, this is like <laughs> beyond ridiculous. This is to me like, I mean, you pull it off with ease, Thank but you. this is the whole point of this about being individual style. If I wear stuff like this, I look like I want to be like from the 90s, like from Top of the Pops magazine. Oh, I'm it's, sure, it's I'm sure too I'll much, get that as well. But I, like, I think it looks so cool and like with a shirt, it's just, it's very you, you, which I think is the whole thing about this. Yeah. So going from your very casual, yes. going up into the second look, <laughs> which I have to say I'm obsessed yeah, with. Yeah, this was, this was um, a nod to Robin James. There's number one rule. Well, actually, it was in your top five. Yeah. And it was uh, to do with tonal dressing, and obviously with you, you stick to your blues. Mm -hmm. I'm fond of that. Yeah. And I completely agree with everything you stated in that video, so... Well done, mm -hmm. then. And where's everything <laughs> from here? Um, so the shirt is from Prada. The trousers are a pair of vintage 70s trousers. They're from Wrangler, but they're from 70s. The trousers are, like, absolutely beautiful. And, like, Insane. I'm having a real Insane. zoom here. Like. The, the dart on the front is gorgeous. Right. Like the way you've got it just sitting. I love it. It's so perfect. I was so, um, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And for 40 pounds, I think it was, bargain. Mm. Absolute bargain. And how do you find pieces like this? Like I know if I ever go, like if I look online, like yeah. even as simple as Depop or eBay or just various other sites or vintage stores, yeah. it can sometimes feel a bit overwhelming. 100%. Um, I think we're very lucky with the fact that we live in London uh, and we've got a great selection of 
of vintage clothing mm. around here. So for most of my vintage pieces, I like to actually go in store, try them on, especially with vintage cuts being slightly different to your regular sort of current cuts. Mm. Um, in what sort of way? Well, trousers, for example, they usually fit a lot smaller than what our current mm. jeans or trousers may fit like, especially around the waist. Uh, these are from the 70s, so like I said, the tighter on the thigh and then they flare out at the bottom, so that's something that you have to take into consideration. And the trousers just fit so perfectly over the boots, which are such a statement, and I know that, I mean, I think, I don't think I could wear this. Like, I need to like get my hands on oh, these. I'll give you one. Thank okay. you. Again, these are from... Balenci Balenciaga. <laughs> Nice. province judgmental Very, eyes. No, my oh, like my eyes. lusting eyes. These are these are like a statement and a half. Yeah. Tell me the story behind these. So, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think it's from their Spring Summer 16 collection. Mm -hmm. um, Denmer, the creative director of Balenciaga, this was one of his first collections. So he kind of came in and wanted to make a statement with mm. regards to the direction that he was taking the brand in. And um, yeah, these were the sort of standout boots yeah. from that collection. Incredible, super well made, obviously a huge... They're um, heavy. Very heavy. They're so heavy. Huge platform and they look incredible, especially with those trousers because they're so wide and flared. Yeah. Bit of a crude question, but how much were they? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I think I ended up paying sub 150. Oh great, okay, yeah. I thought you were going to say like... Far more than oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, but that's the thing, like, because of, I'm somewhat, oh, this is going to sound so weird saying that's it out loud. Fun, so yeah. um, not well connected, but I've got friends. You've got connections. Yeah, yeah. you've got connections. Yeah. So I don't actually pay no. that much anyway. I love that. You're just like, I want those boots <laughs> and I want them in a size whatever and I want them now. Boom. If I could fit my trotters in here, <laughs> I would give it a go, but they're actually too small. And the third outfit. So this one, let's have a little look at this. Cool. This again is totally different. And what I love again is you've given us three outfits which are completely different. Yeah. This one is more of the sort of monochromatic with your sort of yellow pops. Yeah. Talk to me about this. So yeah, this outfit is more of a evening, going out, maybe to an event. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd come in here, show you three different, very different which looks. Which you have, yeah. Um, very monochromatic, but also very interesting plays with both the shapes and the colours. Um, it's actually pretty much a head-to-toe Heide Ackerman okay. look. So the blazer's from Heide Ackerman, the trousers are from Heide Ackerman, and I absolutely love the way that he plays with colour and texture and material, and uh, I think it really showcases in the blazer. Mm. Um, yeah, it's actually, if you break it down, it's actually a very simple and basic look, but due to its um, very specific nuances yeah. it kind of elevates it from being just a blazer white shirt black trousers to blazer with bleaching mm. detail white shirt which is still fairly basic but it's got a nice little revere collar and then the black trousers are higher waisted they've got a little pleat they've got a golden stripe on the sides so um yeah i think it's all in the details mm -hmm. and that's what takes a look from being somewhat basic to okay elevated yeah, yeah. So through all these looks, you're obviously wearing a, like a lot of jewellery. <laughs> yeah. How important are accessories oh, to you? Oh man, to, to me, genuinely, they're the first thing. Well, no, they're not even the first thing. At this Trousers point, are the first thing. Yeah, yeah. at this point, the jewellery is the last thing, but it's one of those things that I just know I won't leave the house without. Mm. Um, there's been times when I've left the house without my rings. I genuinely feel naked. Mm. I don't know, it's, it's so crazy and interesting to say out loud, um, slightly weird, but genuinely when I do yeah. go out of the house and I don't have my rings on or I don't have my bracelets or my chains or whatever, I feel naked, I feel plain, yeah. I feel boring and <laughs> it's just me, it's just me. And there has been, part of you, aren't yeah, they? There, yeah. there has been time when I've walked out for a good 10 minutes and I'll be like, yeah, no, no, not right. I'm gonna go yeah. back home. Your um, sense of style, I would say, is very considered. So everything that you put together has a, has a reason. Yeah. Where do you get that knowledge from? Like, what, how, how have you got to this point of understanding what works? I think it's from years of just trying stuff. Mm. Um, not everything is gonna, like not everything just came together. Do you know what I mean? It's just been years of just trying loads of stuff, things that we regret, things that we've learned a lot from. 
um, but also my background, sort of my education was in design. Um, I went into styling afterwards, so all of that as well accumulated into what is currently just me. And uh, like I, I know that you know when I'm making these videos, you get a lot of guys asking questions. Yeah. Like, what are your top tips? I suppose to find your own sense of style because we all want to have a look. We all want to create the sort of style yeah. brand. Yeah. yeah. But how how do you get there? Um, well, there is a video that I did called Five Ways to Find Your Personal Style." Links. We'll link it <laughs> no. up there in the cards. We will. We'll, there we we'll go. We'll card it. There you Dunzo. go. But no, yeah. if I had to um, list them out here. With regards to personal style, for me, mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is to do with confidence and that's something that I'm harp on about so much. Um, anybody can throw on these pieces, yeah. but if you don't genuinely either believe in it or, or it's just not you, yeah. you can tell. Yeah, you know? and that, that's it, like you can buy these clothing, but you actually can't buy the confidence to wear it. Absolutely. And quite often you'll see, and I, I notice you're on the tube, you're walking down the street, you're in a store, and you see the clothing wearing someone rather than them wearing the clothing. Absolutely. So you've got to have some sort of For vibe me, about For me, that's you. where the, the foundation mm. is. Uh, once you've got that, you can pretty much do anything, especially when it comes to clothing, just because at the end of the day, it's extremely subjective. There is no right or wrong, right? So try stuff on. Mm -hmm. If it makes you feel happy, if it makes you feel good, that's all that matters. Mm. Like, there's some stuff that I'm going to be wearing that you're going to absolutely hate yeah. and vice versa. All of it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, at the end of the day, sure, mm. care about, or to a certain extent, care about what people might think or say, but don't no. really. And it's like, it's, it's the style versus fashion yeah. sort of thing, which is, you know, fashion is what we're, what we're kind of told to wear and it's very seasonal and it's trend led. Whereas, yeah. you know, you're wearing a pair of trousers from the seventies, which realistically, you know, that was fashion in the seventies, yeah. but that's very much style. Yeah. And it's style, which is something which is evergreen and which is always around and kind of owning that. I want to ask about, you've got a mixture of the designer staff, the thrift store staff. Mm -hmm. Is there like one main store, like online or on the high street that is your go-to? Ooh, that's a toughie. Um, Farfetch is usually my number one spot just because you can find everything. Um, Essence, just because, again, they've got an excellent buy. They've got good customer service, so whenever I need mm. something, it gets sent from Canada in two days. It's amazing. Um, so, so good. And then there's obviously loads of other online retailers like Matches Fashion, Forward, uh, Mr. Porter that mm -hmm. are just dotted around. They do great stuff. In terms of actual stores itself, don't gravitate towards high street so much mm -hmm. unless it's to create content. Um, and that's not to be fake at all, it's mm. more so for the fact that I would rather shop vintage, Yeah. but 80% of the time mm. have vintage clothes uh, at either high street, mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, and that's because of the ethics around it and sustainability? Yeah, all that stuff, yeah, yeah. Or ethics. is it to have something which no one else has? Um, I'm sure that plays into it, mm -hmm. but it's more so with sustainability and ethics, and especially with sustainability being such a mm -hmm. hot topic at the moment, more than ever, I think it's very important for people to know um, the beauty and the perks of, mm. of vintage clothing. Thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you like, so much for having me, man. It's like, great, I mean, and thank you for being my first guest. Honestly, really <laughs> enjoyable. Thank you. What I'll do is I'll link Sanja's favorite stores, I'll link your channel, cool. I'll also do your Instagram. So do go across, do say hello. Um, thank you so much. But thank you again, really enjoyable. Hey, thank you for having me, man. means a lot. And also to your audience, please do go easy on me. I know it's a bit out there, but- You said, you know. do you know what you said that? But this, <laughs> this is a community of being very open and accepting. And if anyone is not about that, then you know where to go. Sanja's channel to give them abuse. <laughs> no. Thank you again. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then Sanja's gonna point me here, press subscribe there. There we go. Also, more video suggestions stay in there. Stay with me that way. There. That way. A link Where's to my blog is oh, there. That's the there. one. Yeah. Okay, cool. um, and then the cards with the video from Sanj up there and my social. Beautiful. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.